In this session, I'm going to explain the use of mask and have to. There are three conditions that we have to pay attention. Condition number one, we use mask and have to to say that it is necessary to do something. Often, it doesn't matter which one you use. Pay attention to these two examples. Example number one, oh dear, it's later than I thought. I must go now. Or you can replace with, I have to go now. And example number two, you must have a passport to visit most foreign countries. Or you can say, you have to have a passport to visit most foreign countries. There is sometimes a difference between must and have to. With must, the speaker is giving his own feelings, saying what he thinks is necessary. Pay attention to these two examples. Example number one, I must write to Anne. I haven't written to her for ages. In this situation, the speaker personally feels that he must write to Anne. Example number two, the government really must do something about the unemployment. In this situation, the speaker personally feels that the government must do something. But we'd have to, the speaker is not giving his own feelings. He is just giving facts. For example, sentence number one, Anne's eyes are not very good. She has to wear glasses for reading. And sentence number two, I can't meet you on Friday. I have to work. Now, the second situation. You can only use must to talk about the present and the future. For example, we must go now. And must you live tomorrow? But for have to, we use it in all forms. For example, I had to go to hospital. This is the past form. And I might have to go to hospital. The infinitive form. Have you ever had to go to hospital? And this one is the present perfect form. Note that we use do, does, did, with have to in present and past questions and negative sentences. Pay attention to these examples. Example number one. What do I have to do to get a driving license? Example number two. Why did you have to go to hospital? Example number three. Tom doesn't have to work on Saturdays. Now, the third situation. Must not and don't have to are completely different. You must not do something means it is necessary that you do not do it. Pay attention to these two examples. Example number one. You must not tell anyone what I said. It means don't tell anyone. And example number two. I promised. I'd be on time. I must not be late. It means I must be on time for sure. You don't have to do something means it is not necessary to do it. You don't need to do it. Pay attention to these two examples. Example number one. I don't have to wear a suit to work but I usually do. And example number two. She stayed in bed this morning because she didn't have to go to work.